All right, so we're going to look at the shaft support here. There's a couple things you got to learn how to do, and we're going to use uh, put counterbores in here, and we're going to do it two different ways to put the counterbore in. Um, this is three inches up here. This is seven inches this way. The depth is that uh, uh, three inches there. This is 1.2 thick. We're not going to worry about the 1.5 yet. We do need to know that radius of 1.62 right there, because that'll determine where this is and that is. And we'll get to the counterbores later. All right. So um, we'll go to new. It's inches, not metric, so uh, click start. I'm going to click this right here, and we're just going to go ahead and sketch what we think is that basic shape. Just a basic shape, something like this. And now you should be able to click. Oops. Let me undo that. Well, that's okay. We'll go ahead and click arc and put an arc on there like that okay then then what we're going to do next is go ahead and do a coincident constraint and put that right there on that point and I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is tangent to here and this is tangent to here all right so those are tangent uh, I think we've got it we can't really do any other equals or anything like that it looks like the rest of it's done but we can go ahead and put a dimension on here if I remember correctly it was seven seven so I'll say seven there um, we'll look up here from here okay this one was a radius of 1.62 uh, and we needed to know a dimension that went from the center there to here which was three oops I think it was three let me double check Three and all right, and this is one point two, uh, one two. So we'll put a dimension right here. That this one is one point one two. All right, so let's try doing something's not quite right here. Um, should have that should have made that so it's fully constrained. So let's try doing parallel between this and this, and that does it. Does it right there? Okay, so we can finish that sketch. We're ready to extrude it, um, and we have to extrude it three inches. So we'll extrude, doesn't matter which direction, I'll just go back three inches that way. Okay, now let's talk about this hole command, right? So when you do this, there's going to, you got these options, click on hole, you have these options, and we've seen all these options here. Uh, we're going to use concentric and we're going to use linear, but we want to use right here, this is a counterbore option. This one's called the spot face and this one's a countersink option. Um, so the counterbore uh, we're just going to try to fill in as much of this information as we can right here before we pick our, our spot. So let's see the overall diameter, the, the large diameter of the counterbore is going to be a 2 inch. So it's got a 1.5 through 2 inches there. And then the counterbore is 0.25 deep. So let's go here. We're going to say the, that was 0.5. The depth was 0.5. The outside diameter was 2. And then the one going through was 1.5. All right, so we've set up what it's going to look like. We're going to do a linear one, so we'll select that and pick on this face right here. All right, so now we've got that in place. Our first reference is going to be from the side over here, and that should be 1.5 to put that in the middle. Oops, 1.5 to put that in the middle, and then this reference should also be 1. Point oh, man, I messed that up. I accidentally hit the enter button when I was putting in the point on the keyboard, so I'm going to right click on this, click edit the feature, and this reference right here, we're going to change that to, that one's 1 1.5, so that's right, and, mm, edit the feature, and I want to click on this one, and that one's got to be 1 1.5 also, alright, so we should be good there, okay, alright, so that's where that, that's the way that will look, there, so we'll do the same thing. This time we'll do the hole. This is all set up for us already. In, instead, we'll switch to concentric. Click this is our plane, and this is our concentric reference. Right there, apply, and we're good. So that's our part. All right. We're going to save it as 210-6-53, and it is a shaft support. And time to go make the drawing. Right click here, change this to C size sheet. 
and all right so this is too big for this drawing so we're going to change this and make that a half scale isometric there the corner so we're ready to annotate we'll start by doing center points center points there do center line bisectors We can continue those by uh, doing those two there, and it makes it a little bit longer. comes off the part. This is actually technically correct to do it this way. That's what we want to see have, or have happen there. All right, so now the dimensioning should be relatively easy. So let's start right here. We're going to go from here up to the center point of that. We'll put this in, and that'll be 3 right there. Go ahead and put this radius on right here like that. The overall length of that we'll put right here and we need to know how tall this section of it is right there and this is where this feature is dominant so you want to put those on that we'll now worry about we're going to worry about locating this hole first so we'll go from here back to here and locate the hole this way we're going to locate from this line to the center line this way all right so that's located um the want to know the overall width of the part so that's how wide the part is and we can figure out the height over here in this one oops got some funny little dimension thing on here we don't want that I don't know what happened or why it's there so we'll get rid of that okay now it is time to dimension this uh, this hole and uh, we're gonna do this we're gonna put this one right here and we're gonna say that that goes through cat lock on through All right enter down this symbol right here is your counterbore symbol so you put counterbore and then took 2.00 um, and enter down to the next one and this symbol is your depth symbol and you put 0 0.50 right we'll go down one more time and we're gonna say two places so now that's the entire thing so that tells us everything we need to know so it's here and it's here golden we're done um, the actual drawing parts of it so we'll go up to file come down to I properties make all these changes we need to here the title is a shaft support the company and I'll go over here and do this again so we'll get 210-6-53 the description shaft support and apply and close Double click your mouse wheel, save it, make the PDF. Oops, got lost. That's where you're going to submit. All right, best of luck to you.